Hello, my name is Alicia, and today I will teach you how to play the math game Shepherd. The object of this game is that students will gain a deeper understanding of linear functions on a coordinate plane. Everything that is included in this game is seen here. There's the game board, 15 different, different sheep tokens, linear function tokens, bonus cards which allow you to do different things, and six sets of five different colored dogs. This game can be played for two to six players. If there are only two players, then they must sit across from each other, uh, but for our purposes, we will put them side by side. At the beginning of the game, players will place the sheep uh, anywhere on the coordinate plane. They must uh, be evenly spread, and you cannot put all of the sheep in, into just one coordinate, one quadrant. Uh, players will also put one of their dog tokens by the number line to help them keep score. So the object of this game is that you must herd the sheep. Uh, you can do it uh, by yourself and using your own dogs, or you can also uh, talk with the other players, the opponents, to herd the sheep together. Uh, to begin the game, players will decide whoever they want to go first, and they will choose one graph token and place it in the center. We will use uh, y equals x. This means that starting from the zero, zero point, my dog can be put on this line. Uh, I can put him here because I cannot jump over the sheep. So, then I will put this one uh, to the side and I will draw a new token to replace that one. Then the next player will go and he will choose to use y equals negative x. So now he can put his dog anywhere on this line. We'll put him in. Uh, there are three different strategies you can use to herd the sheep. The first strategy uh, is a straight line. So if we put the, our dogs like this, this is a straight line. However, you see that there are actually uh, three sheep on this line, but we can only choose one of them. So we will choose this, this one and put him to the side. Now, because there were two different players involved in, in capturing the, this sheep, uh, the purple team would get one point for each dog, so they would receive two points, and the pink team would receive one point. After you herd the sheep, all dogs must return home. The second strategy that you can use is a rectangle. Here we see three of the points are made by dogs and one point is made by the sheep. Uh, since one team, one player, used all three dogs to herd this sheep, he would receive two points for each dog. He would get six points. And again, all dogs must return home. The last way that you can herd the sheep is by using an isosceles triangle. The important thing to note about an isosceles triangle is you, you can build the triangle in only one quadrant or two quadrants. So this is okay. However, you cannot build a big isosceles triangle like this. It can only be in one or two of the quadrants. Another thing to note is a empty linear function graph. This allows me to draw a bonus card, which this one says, you should move to any point where coordinates have opposite values. I can choose to use this card now, or I can save it for later, and I do not need to show this card to the other players. The player uh, that has the most points when time is up or when all the sheep have been caught is the winner.
Thank you so much for watching and paying attention, and I hope that you enjoy uh, playing this game with your students.